Hey everyone, Dyrum here with something a little different. Normally I would talk about a scarab and provide a strategy. Today I'm just going to share some insights regarding a synergy that I've been testing lately. What I wanted to investigate was final map boss synergy. There are scarabs that mention it, Atlas Passive Trees, so I've done a bit of experimenting. I haven't come up with something particularly good, but I did learn a thing or two. In terms of the Atlas Tree, I took nodes that synergize with the final map boss tag. So we're taking nodes that make them drop synergized maps, Guardian maps and Conqueror maps, but also a node like Chittering Champions, as our maps have between 10 to 15 final map bosses, if not more. And it looks like map bosses drop better scarabs, although this is still based on limited testing. Rather than going in for Exarch again, this time we're taking Maven. I also took Thorough Exploration, which empowers final map bosses with Wildwood Wisps. I did a bit of testing, and this also works on final map bosses created by scarabs, if you have less than 50 enemies remaining in the map. The rest of the tree focuses on scarabs and map drops, basically. All in all, the expectation is that you drop plenty plenty of scarabs and plenty of special maps, and that expectation turns out to be true. Look for example at my stash tab over here, which is the result of 39 maps, including the maven invites that I was getting along the way. This led to 105 special maps, so that is roughly 2-3 to three of those per area or map that you run. I have tried out two scarabs specifically. First, the Horned Scarab of Pandemonium. This scarab states, monster packs in area have a 15% chance to be replaced by a random atlas boss. Modifiers to the final map boss also apply to these atlas bosses. My line of thinking here was to simply get monster packs in the map. I added two scarabs of adversaries for 8 additional rare monster packs and a scarab of 100 traders, assuming those also count as monster packs. I'm not even sure that's true. It works overall though, you get plenty of map bosses in the maps. What is questionable, and this info is not on the wiki so far, is which monsters can turn into a final boss. For sure, all the native monsters in the map. That includes those you add using embers. I'm also sure, after limited testing, that plenty of league mechanics do not have their monster packs converted into final map bosses. I tried Abyss, which didn't do any conversions. I tried Blight, nothing. Legion, nothing. Expedition, nothing. Where it gets more interesting is with Ritual. For sure, Ritual includes the map bosses that you kill in the Ritual area and revives them so you can kill them again. However, it seems that the loot of the map bosses doesn't drop again. From a ritual, I have never gotten a guardian map for example. It seems the map bosses drop their loot only once in that regard. But now we get to the part I am simply not sure about. I'm like 80% sure that delirium which adds a bunch of monsters doesn't seem to convert those monsters into map bosses. But this is very hard to tell honestly and requires more testing but I'm out of scares for now. However, at this moment. I think that Beyond does actually convert their monsters into map bosses. I have had map bosses, pretty big ones too, seemingly appear out of nowhere on Beyond maps. And the only explanation I have for that is that for some reason Beyond packs seem to be obeying these scarabs and convert to a map boss 15% of the time. It's just something interesting I wanted to share. So that's all the info I have on the horned scarab of pandemonium. Then, the second scarab that makes map bosses appear is the domination scarab of terrors. Every shrine is now guarded by a map boss. This is of course a very deterministic way of spawning them and it is very reliable. I have combined this scarab with three regular domination scarabs and took domination on the map device. Plus, there are nodes on the atlas, so that means I am spawning at least 11 shrines and thus 11 map bosses per area, excluding the actual map boss of the map that is potentially another four map bosses for a total of 15 and then everything else just works the same way right i'm using the same atlas after all some closing thoughts on the matter i primarily wanted to share my insights maybe someone else can figure out a better way to utilize these scarabs this is what made sense to me i ran fairly easy maps as there wasn't much need to juice it is a pretty chill play style too the hole here for SSF isn't bad, but I wouldn't consider taking this tree as one of the three default ones. 
I would only run this if you either have these scarabs, which are super rare, or want to do a bit of boss rushing. Maybe you're looking for invitations still or awakened support gems. Either way, I hope you found this video helpful and you will try out those scarabs. Let me know what you think. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions. Subscribe and like for more SSF BOE content. Thanks for watching and making it to the end. Love you all. See you soon. Bye bye.